Hey there, everyone! This is Al Cow playing Super Castlevania 4 in front of a just no, all right, just like just uh just, just an embarrassing little end of boss there, but today we got the sweet castle here. That, that we leave the cow I don't I like we can see Dracula's proper castle over there. Like I'm assuming this is like the house for servant, maybe a guest house. There's a skull on the wall, and here's Mr. Knight. Look at that, skull on the wall is looking at me. He's like, whoa, it's a Simon. It's like that's right. Get out of here. So, uh, you know, let's have go. We got guy that lives in the wall there. It's pretty good. It's very red. And I destroyed Santa from a safe distance. So we are now in World 4. 4-1. Four you can see that up there. Is this... <laughs> Things didn't do what I thought they were gonna do. And I freaked out a little bit. So the panels react to just being, like, on top of them. They, uh, it doesn't matter if uh, you're jumping or not. That's good to know. Well, yeah, so this is uh, Dracula's platforming challenge. There's just moving platforms here, and you gotta live with it. Like, there's no real logic for those. They're just there. Like, normally I feel like with the, you know, in an NES game or something, yeah, there's floating platforms, whatever. You don't think about it. But this is at a degree of, like, graphical detail that, to me, no, you can walk on them. It's just that if you land on them, yeah, they freak out. Okay, I must have accidentally jumped or, like, landed from higher. I don't know, man. I don't remember what just happened. That's ridiculous. Who even does that? Yeah, I'm not messing around down there. Are you kidding? It's too dangerous. Get out of here, Candle. Get out of here, Knight! Those are the things I have to share. Oh yeah, see if you want chicken, but I'm not hurt! I don't need meat! Uh, that's right, you, you don't have to eat if you're not physically wounded. That's the law. Alright, little bat. There you go, little bat. Doing a little bat thing. So that guy's got a sword, and his goal is to slice you up in a way that you fall in the pit. By the way, be careful. Whoa, whoa, what's going to happen? This is a big old transparent magic skull with a big tongue! I love how his corrosive breath, like, destroys the wallpaper. That is such a cool touch. Unfortunately, the boss is kind of trivial. Like, he just kind of sits there and you attack- Like, if you're here full, you're just gonna kill it. The Simon is moving on his own there. That was a cutscene, it just happened on its own. Like, yeah, I got hurt a lot. But, I mean, I won the encounter, so it doesn't matter. It matters a little bit. You probably want to keep the hang hell because it's the mid-boss. who's the Medusa of giant, massive skeleton skulls. Uh, yeah, the game still continues. Check out this sweet mode 7! Full screen rotation! This, I will admit, took me a long time to figure out as a kid. Because then you're here, right? You're like, okay, the Medusa is happening right now. That's unfortunate. But there's clearly a hallway to the side there. No. Attempting to jump there will instantly destroy you. Because it turns out the screen rotates more and that's a death pit. It doesn't make any sense. But that's what happens. Uh, what well, blocks are gone, in case we're standing somehow. Yeah, this took me a long time to figure out for a little child cow. And, you know, I have no regret. Regret's not the right word. No something. I, I don't know what it is, but I don't have it. Here we go, into this ledge that extended for me. All right, welcome to the fun tube. You know, it's Dracula's fun tube, where he put his... Uh, cross rosaries that destroy everyone. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is, remember when I said that Konami was, uh, sort of subtle in how they were showing off? This is the not subtle part. This is the part they showed to Nintendo, like, check this, oh, my, my invincibility juice is already gone? I could not tell. Alright. I mean, the, the flashing is a pretty, uh, subtle one. Oh, this character plays, it's pretty good. It's... <laughs> yeah, like, I have no clue what all of this is even supposed to represent. It's a spinning tube. Anyways, welcome to the temple, I guess. This is where we show off layer two. Wow! 
I love layer two. It's the best. I don't, don't mock. This is honestly pretty deadly. I forget if it's necessarily hard because it's hard or if it's hard just because everything kills you. Because, you know, it's like it's the same as Mario. Get smushed and, uh, you know, a jar of Simon is not gonna do well adventuring out there. That's just reality. So you get to go on this thing that goes up, man, pretty great, and then you're on a smaller thing, it's pretty great. And you hear weird sounds, like a gate, doing gate sounds, uh, as the sound of a gate, but not like a gate of a horse. You can go in that little alcove if you want. Did I want? Maybe I should have wanted. Ugh, I made it here. Alright, then I'm gonna hurry up here and end up in another entrance. I don't know what to do here, though. Um, I guess this is not where I wanted to go. Great, glad I've met you. Where do I want to go, then? Is there another similar entrance somewhere? Because I'm pretty sure, like, this is the first place. Like, this is the equivalent of when we, we got here, right? I think. Uh, I mean, we can keep going. We do have a time limit, though, so we gotta be careful. Then the saxophone is making magic. <laughs> the fake instrument thing in the music is pretty good. Alright, see, like, look, we're just kind of looping back here. Oh, but this time, it's different! Alright, we're gonna take our time. We don't want to get purpled. This is, this is the worst thing that could happen to a Simon. Alright, I don't know why they're so bright, but I love it. Alright, well, we all see what's going on. Simon does not have a run button. <laughs> so just go. Just go. Don't worry about it. Just go. Here's an axe. Now, you too can play some game healing if you want. I don't know. Alright, so I don't know what I'm going to see. I can axe this guy. A question or five. If I'm not, money. I mean, I, I can ask him some questions, but he's dead. Yay, meat! That's right. I had no defense against me. Oh shoot, I... It's very important that if you're gonna whip a projectile, that you hit the projectile. Anyways, here's the boss of the tower. We're still... The background fades, because the boss... is blocks! No, he lives on another layer. Oh, uh, that's funny. That's just funny. It's, just, it's weird, rocky Frankenstein. He throws blocks sometimes, pretty good. And he blocks rains from above. Now he's tiny, so there's no reason to go on the little elevator. I might die. I might- I, I have not been doing all great decisions. And yet, yeah, here I placed myself into danger. That's gonna happen sometimes. So what's in this candle? Like, I never checked that out. A heart? Wow. Unbelievable. How about that little square? Ooh, a boomerang, though. Oh, you need a duck. Like, you need a crouch walk like that, and I did not do that. So, it was kind of a waste. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That's unfortunate. Because I would have liked that against Mr. Rocky Gollum Horror Show. Hey, he disappears, so you can't do a sneak attack. This is just me when I have less time than I had the first time I got here. I think when you respawn in the zone, if you die, you end up with less time than, uh, you could otherwise. Alright, so I absolutely would have won had I had been full when I got here. So now I'm full, so I expect to win. Just straight up, downright, here we go. I'm not afraid of you! My yo-yo skills, though, are frightening. That's right, I hit- I meant to press item. There's no way back. I don't have a reset plugged in, like button set up. And this is why for so many years I didn't put my save buttons on my controller. Yeah. Well, since I'm down here. Oh, there's an axe here. God damn it. What? Wait. What? No, wait. How? How? Wait. 
That didn't happen the past? Why did it happen now? Wait, I'm confused. By the way, I think I realized why I pressed the wrong button there. Um, so, I have save and load set to the triggers on my controller, right? Because, you know, like, you got the, the, the bumpers that are in the Super Nintendo controller, so, you know, it matches... Oh, God damn it pretty well. But, so before I play this game, I play Nine Years of Shadows, and you know where the projectile button is on that controller? Yeah, it's our trigger. But if I want to chuck an axe, it's bumper I need to press. Oh my god, I'm just getting hurt a lot, and I need to not. There we go. Hit you in the head, or just multiple axe. Well, one axe multiple times. It happens. So it's every time he gets hurt, I think, he has the ability to summon down the ceiling. Or sometimes just when he feels like it. I don't know. But this time, I'm just gonna win. We fought enough as it is. Whoa, so here we're gonna see something we're gonna see again later. Where clearly, I, I hit him and his bar then reduce. But now he's grown huge until he's swirling. Yeah, that's right! It's not a bet. Oh, that looked pretty rad, though. It's like, I mean... It's all in the, you know, it's all in the swing, you know, it's like, whoosh. See, I want my save things on re readily accessible, so I can re be ready to do that, so that next time, we can go from the guest house and just, like... It's, it's Dracula's castle's pathway. It's, it's not, it's not very exciting. It's just, okay, this is the path. Check it out, it's like a swamp. I feel like a swamp would be- well, I don't know. Would you want swamp on your- on your land? Would you want swamp on your land? I have no idea. 